So what is a woman? What is a woman is whatever you want to be. So anyone can be a woman? Yeah. Do you, so do you get a period? No. Well, actually, yes. So, no. no. Wow. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here on the new video. Today, we're going to check it out. Charlie Cook, the submate radical transsexual activist. Okay, I couldn't Charlie Kick because of kicking us. Let's get right to today's video. Poof. Hello, yes. my name's Eve, your local transsexual. I just want to wonder where you get this idea that like trans people are being indoctrinated in. Okay, so are, are you, you say you're transsexual or transgender? And t tell me, is there a technical difference in the two? Damn, okay. Um, some people say that there's a difference. To me, there's no difference. So it's just either or. Okay, so so by a lot, what are your chromosomes? X, X, or X, Y? Um, very strange question, but strange. I'm not really. X, Y. I could be intersex, who knows? Okay, so you were born as a man and you are a man. Uh, no. I okay. was born as a man, and now I'm a woman. Okay, no, but you don't become a woman just because you dress like a woman. Oh, my goodness. What about my hormones? I, I, I don't become black. Do I become black if I wear blackface? That is a wild comparison, <laughs> but... Hormones by themselves, you can actively change. But that but by what, taking HRT, you can also stop taking the T suppressor. But people eventually. are more than hormones. I mean, you have men with low testosterone; those are called white dudes for Harris. You can have w women with high testosterone. So, testosterone, estrogen, and your endocrinology is more than what you are as either a man or a woman. There's brain size. There is There's how you process information. There is bone density, muscle mass. What every single one of your cells is either coded XX or XY. So let me ask you a question. If I wear a disguise or a costume, do I become that thing? For example, if I dress with a sombrero and start talking with a Mexican accent, do I then become that culture? No. Uh, no, because that's different race. Okay, that's but then wait, why, why, how is it different? Because you're saying that if you dress a certain way and you present a certain way, you can be as you think you are. Why can't I also just choose what culture I am? Because you are born within a culture, you are born um, with. But you were born as a man. Thank you. Let, thank you. But let 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 him finish. All right. Fuck you. Well, Anyways, sorry. Um, I'm sorry. What did you say? My, my pronouns are not f you actually. Oh well. Thank you. All right. Anyway. There are many things collectively into a culture that has been built up over time, but not as much as, you know, male or female. Got it. So what is a woman? What is a woman is whatever you want to be. So anyone can be a woman? Yeah. Do you, so do you get a period? No. Well, actually, yes. So. What? No. no. Wow. Can you give birth? No. But. A lot of trans people that are on hormones do get PMS symptoms. Right, but symptoms and it is different. I mean, like moodiness or mood swings are not the same well, thing. Yeah, but, but can you give birth? Also, cis women don't always have to give birth. Cis women uh, can also this is the height of delusion. Uh, have PMS cyst, uh, symptoms without getting a period. Right. So, but you have to. So, a woman can be whatever you want it to be. Is that correct? Yeah, but cis women can also. Be and have all of those so things. Uh, under that logic, can I become a bobcat or a giraffe? I mean, if you want to me to call you a bobcat, sure. I don't care. So at, at some point, don't you see that it's probably a bad idea to give people the ability to identify whatever they want as just because they feel a certain way? Why would it be a bad thing? Well, shouldn't we have some sort of objective truth that male and female differences and distinctions matter? Uh, there and is that, no real male and female distance uh, especially there, in archaeology a lot of wait there's no difference between men and women there are some for sure well, what differences but are there i'm talking about like when you talk about brain size or skeletal bone structure or whatever archaeologists for example have a very tough time distinguishing between male and sex or male and female i'm probably uh when you see the male skeleton next to the female skeleton 
Those okay. are very different. Those are Got a it. range. So, Everything but, else, most people are usually so here, in the middle here's of Here's the kicker. So you are a biological male. No matter how much surgery or hormones you take, you'll never be able to give birth. Yeah, so, I'm okay with that. Right, but so then what, what point is womanhood achieved then? What, at what point do you become a woman? I feel pretty. <laughs> yeah, so, I can look at myself and not want to see myself, so... Well, hold on, so now we're getting to something. Maybe, is it possible that you might have other underlying mental health issues that you are then ascribing as transgenderism that you uh, might not no. be treating? No, I am being treated for other mental illnesses, right, but, but I, it is unrelated. Are they unrelated, or yeah. is transgenderism a symptom of other underlying issues no. that I hope you get treatment for, such as depression, schizophrenia, anxiety, bipolar tendencies? Uh, no. Don't have any of those, actually. You don't have any? You, you mentioned no. you have other potential issues. No, I don't have any potential issues. No, you don't? No. I'm just cool. Oh, you're just cool. Just yeah. lay. So, He's let, me, let me ask one other final question. Do you yeah. think it's okay for a 14-year-old to be able to get gender-affirming care? A 14-year-old can get hormone blockers. That is the extent of what a 14-year-old can get. And that is completely irreversible. So, well, well, you can get you mean, hormone You mean blockers. reversible, but it's not reversible. But it first is. of all, in the, in the, no, it's when not reversible. When you stop taking hormone blockers, then your natural hormones come Puberty is not an assembly line where you just press a button and it stops. Secondly, I mean, yeah. that we are, we, are liter we, are cutting, we are cutting breasts off of kids here in the state of Texas that illegally. That is not true. Yes, a whistleblower, yes. Dr. Ethan Heim, came out in Dr. Houston. Ethan. Dr. Ethan Heim and said that we are cutting the breasts off of kids irreversibly in Houston, Texas. Mm -hmm. Also happens in LA, San Francisco, Seattle, Portland. So it does happen. Do you think it should be illegal to say that kids should not be able to irreversibly damage themselves? Well, even so, let's say a bunch of kids are getting gender affirmed. Thousands of kids every month. Let's say. All right. That is a decision between the child, the parent, and the doctor. That has nothing to do with you. Got Why it. do you have a say in so that? So should, should, should kids be able to get tattoos? Sure. Oh, okay. Should kids be able to own AR-15s? No. Why? Because that is harmful. It can be oh. a Oh, Oh, so AR-15s are harmful, but cutting off your breasts yeah, or potentially castrating yourself, gender-affirming care. I mean, given that you're under anesthesia, <laughs> Do you understand the medieval horror that you're advocating for? We say no. Yes. It's, so a 15-year-old, puberty is not the problem. Puberty is the solution to the trans issue, <laughs> where that almost every young okay. lady or young man will have some sort of anxiety of how they feel at age 12, 13, 14, 15. Maybe instead of telling them that they might be somebody in another body, we should allow them to continue to grow and develop into the body that God made sure. them in and say that puberty will actually solve the problem. All right. and, no, and I want to just close by this. I have a lot of compassion for you mm -hmm. because you're going down a journey where you'll never actually hit your destination. Fuck. Because I'm at there. I'm right there. No, well, I'm at my destination. You're at your destination? Yes. I feel great. Okay, that's well, it. again... That's literally all it is. The, the studies show that over a period of time, you're going to keep on searching for more surgical interventions and more drugs. No. Where my, my hope for you is I wish that you would live in the body that God gave you, not trying yeah. to declare war on your, the body that God gave you. Okay. And that, that, that's my hope for you. Because okay. I think you, you will be a happier person instead of nuking your body with artificial hormones, okay. pretending to be somebody that you're not. I will say one more thing and I'll go. I don't believe that God makes mistakes. God created me as a male, and I want to be a woman. That is the same way that God created grapes, but not wine. It is so that humanity can take part in the witness of creation, of transformation. We're not called to transform our bodies. We're called to surrender to God and how God made us. And but let me, at what Thank age you. did you think you were a woman? 16. Okay, is there any part of you that said maybe 16 year olds make bad decisions? I mean, partially, yes. Do you, have you ever second guessed your decision? At first, sure. But after a year, no. Not. Oh, you've only been doing this a year? No, no, no. Oh, okay. I'm saying a year 
around 17. I never second guess. I, I, I'm going to pray for you because you're right, on a very, you're on a destructive journey, and it's not going to end well. God bless you. Thank you All so right, much. I feel like he has a mental illness, and this is something that they have to like tackle. Um, the funny thing is that they don't see anything wrong with what they're doing. So the funny, the the button in this is that there is no destination. There is it's like a ship that is moving without any point of direction. It's just moving, or a car that is just driving without any location or where it's going to um, be a stop. There is no stop. You are just moving pointlessly in life. Because there's no sense of direction in where you are going to, which is very, very terrible. So, um, according to he, they said during at the age of sixteen, it was that was when um the thing hit him that is it feels like a woman. I feel like that was a bad decision. I feel like it's probably he has friends, or he has been watching something that brought him to such narrative, because I. He did not just come there by himself thinking about it. And aside that, he needs more counseling, more praying, and the delusion is at another level. He used the statement of God made grapes, and then we, we are the one who turned into wine. He knows God made him a man, but he chose to become a woman, which is delusional, which is a very, very stupid Excuse. So according to him, you can change your gender, but you can't change your race, which makes no sense. She, um, he's just um, disguising himself as a woman, but originally is a man. And with time, I feel like he might get clarity or he might end up in regrets. That is the two things that might happen to him later on in life, which is, I pray he sees very early and change from his, from his ways. Um, if if you feel like you are a, you are a male, if you feel like you are in the wrong body, or you are a, you are a, you are meant to be a female, and you are a male because you dress as one, that is a very height. That is the highest height of delusion when you don't feel like there are only two genders again. You feel like there, there are multiple. In years to come, if they dig out people's body of hundred years, two hundred years ago. They will see if discover that there are only two genders, a male and a female. Irrespective of how people feel, um, think, it's the the fat still states there are only two genders. And there's no one who can change that. You understand? This is is what has this is how God made us to be. That is who we are. It's as simple as that. <laughs> it's serious. I love how Charlie handled um him. Tony really handled him very, very, very well and puts him in the right direction. If he chooses to accept, it's fine. If he chooses not to accept, it's fine. But I feel like that, that guy right there has some mental um, issues he needs to work on and he's bluntly lying. You see it in him when Charlie said, you have some mental stuff, some mental issues to tackle? He said no. But he said it at first and he's just changing his words, which means he's lying. Comment down below, think about this video, give us a thumbs up, share this video to as many as can, subscribe to our channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe.